Hi. Today we're going to repack the stainless steel mesh that's in your condenser, your reflux condenser. Uh, this has been placed in here to make sure that the density from each part of it will actually help the reflux ratio to the best advantage. We are going to show you today how to repack it to replicate those conditions and we're going to be using one of these condenser mesh replacement kits. Not replacing the mesh correctly and following the instructions as in this pack uh, will, can result in your condenser not working at its full optimal capacity. All you're going to need for this process is one of these kits, a coat hook or a hook to remove the packing that's already in the condenser, a pair of scissors, and a hammer or broomstick or something along the lines that we can make some marks on on how far we need to push each of these balls into position. I'll show you how, that, how to mark this hammer now. Using either a hammer or a broomstick, we want to measure three stages of where we'll be pushing the, each one of these stainless steel balls into the condenser. So you can see we've made a mark at 7.5, 15 and 24.5. This will make sure that we can push to the right density in the condenser. Okay, to get started, we first need to remove the old mesh from the condenser. You can see inside, that's what we're going to be pulling out. We'll use this hook to snare one piece and pull it out. You should be pulling out five pieces. One. Two. Three. Four, five. So you can see it's now empty, and you may see some copper mesh right at the very top of the column. Do not remove it. Okay, we're now ready to replace either the new mesh from our kit back into the condenser, or we can use and rehash the old mesh to replace as well if we're using it in conjunction with a gin basket. To, for the new mesh, we may just need to cut any bits that are hanging on together. With the old mesh, we want to make them fluff them out again a little bit, so turn them thumbs through the middle and pull it out and then make a little bit longer. We just need to fluff them up a little bit more from what they were. Taking our first mesh piece, we just squeeze it into position. The twisting action can help. And we use our hammer or broomstick to just push it all the way to the end. Not too much pushing on, not too much pressure on that one. Take a second piece. This one we want to push all the way to the measurement we made for the 24.5. You can see it starts offering resistance with two or three centimeters to go. We need to make sure that the mark goes to the base of the condenser. This will require a fair bit of effort. That's the hardest one done. Number three. The idea is to get a tight pack up the top and then loosen the density as it comes down the condenser. You can see it goes quite easily to the mark on this one. Fourth piece. To the seven and a half centimeter mark. Again, fairly easy. And the fifth piece is pushed in with your thumbs. We do, however, want to make sure that the whole unit is pushed to the top of the brass. You can see it's up to the top of the brass. Any loose bits, just cut off with your scissors. So why would we want to want to remove the mesh from our condenser? 
One of the reasons is we may have had a, a number of boil ups in our wash that have carried up and up through into the condenser base and discolored and smeared and fouled some of the mesh. If it's not cleaned up with a citric acid wash, we may want to replace it. The other reason is to use one of our gin baskets in the reflux condenser. That way we can make our reflux condenser act like it's a pot still by removing the mesh and getting rid of the reflux ratio. Just for demonstration purposes, I'll show you how the gin basket slides into the reflux condenser. It actually, this hook hooks over the thermo well where you put your thermometer normally. It's just a matter of finding where the edges, push it all the way in, fit the hook over the, the thermo well, and it's ready to go. You can fill that with botanicals or anything you'd like to get the flavors from in your distillation. Okay, so by following these, this video and which are exactly the same instructions which come with the booklet, you should be able to get everything working again how you want it. If on your first run it doesn't behave as it should, remove the mesh again, repack and try again. Any dramas, you can get in touch with us via email. Thanks for watching.